How y'all doing? Back with another sauce review today. Uh, oh, I got so much going on here. I haven't had much time to get these going. I got so many sauces I got to get done. So we're going to try to get through a few of these uh, in the next few days. I'm going to shoot a few videos, maybe a couple a day even, and uh, try to get them downloaded here and there. Uh, the more I shoot in one day, the I can take a break and just download. So, all right. <coughs> so what we got today, I uh, ordered this quite a while ago, actually. Um, I got the Canadian label. It's the Hellfire Pure Hell. Uh, this is the Pure Hell Infernale label qualities, I don't know, kind of messed up. So eventually I'll probably order another one of these just to have a better bottle in my collection. <clears throat> my goal, I want to get all the Hellfire yeah, uh, bottles, all the cool labels from like the, you know, zombie stuff. So, uh, I think I've got 18 so far. Get the seal off of there, give this a shake. All right. Ingredients of this one is <clears throat> hot peppers, cayenne, bilouk jokia, red seven pot, red habanero, trinidad scorpion, red jalapeno, orange habanero, vinegar, garlic, ghost, chili powder, spices, pomegranate, vinegar, onion, sun-dried tomato, sea salt, lime juice, water, lemon concentrate. So, seven pots, scorpions, going to be a warm one. I think they got this one uh, at six of ten, if I remember right in the catalog. <clears throat> so we'll see. These mashy sauces usually have a little dried up plug in the top. This one isn't too bad. Alright, she's all cleared up. Mm. Hellfire, they got a lot of them. It's just a, just a hint of vinegar, garlic. Definitely smell the pepper. <clears throat> I got red seven pots growing this year, so I'm trying to figure out if that classic smell is from them peppers. I haven't had one yet, so this gardening season we should uh, find out. So we're going to give it a little shot here on the spoon, then I'm going to try it on uh, some food and see how it goes. Very thick, classic hellfire, thick, chunky sauce. Aroma doesn't change much on the spoon. It's got that sweet citrusy smell. Probably got to be the lemon, the, the citrusy lemon smell. The garlic. Got some green in there. In, that, in the spice range, maybe cilantro. Almost maybe get a whiff of that in there. Not sure. Uh, obviously, they don't give you every single ingredient, so that could be under the spice category, but who knows? We're going to try it out here. Chunks. Right off the bat, get that sweet and that tartiness. Almost like the lemon sweetness. I don't want to do too much here because I'm going to try it on some food. Anyway, heat's starting to build. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds on this one. This one's not so far, not overly bearing. Kind of whistling up through the nose. It's a warm one. I wouldn't say it's a... Uh, it's going to knock anybody out, but if you're not uh, used to this stuff, it definitely would. Definitely chunky. Definitely taste that lemon. Pepper. Get that garlic. Heat's not too overbearing, so <clears throat> at this point, see, I, I think they rate these more as this is 6 of 10. Obviously, a chili head that eats this stuff all the time probably isn't going to think it's that hot. So, uh, a normal person, yeah, that that'd be about perfect. Six of ten, you'd eat this if you didn't. If you were just a Tabasco sauce eater, you know the Frank's Red Hot connoisseur. If you thought that was hot sauce, yeah, this would light you up. You'd be sniffling eyes water. You'd be a six. 
so this one that's about perfect um i give it uh i give it about a four three, eh, three and a half i'll give it a three and a half uh limitless from arthur wayne I, I rated that as a four and that lit me up pretty good so i'd go about a three with this one three and a half <clears throat> almost got my nose running not quite all right i got some three wings here we're gonna try a little bit on these I gave you what I thought off the spoon. Now I'll give you what I think off the wings. Got a little on the rim. Just dash, folks. We don't want to get uh, too crazy with it. <laughs> All right, off the wings. Using this as a wing sauce. The smell of garlic. All right. Lemon concentrate and definitely get that sourness from them lemons. Not too bad. I'm not sure about the wing thing with that lemon. Kind of gives them a. Uh, I like my wings hot. So that soury lemon. I'm not sure the wings do it justice. Pork. I tend to like sweeter sauces on pork, so I think it would be a better combination there. If you added it to a, like a wing sauce, buffalo wing sauce, it would probably be a little better. I'm just not sure about that tartness on chicken. But it's a good sauce. Definitely not as hot as I'm used to. The fear of this and whatnot. Some seeds in there. So not bad. Uh, flavor on this one overall, out of ten, I'll go seven. It's good. Heat wise. I said I give it a four, three, three and a half. Four is a little stretching it. I'm not getting any throat burn or nothing. Look at that. We do. All right. So there you have it. Says uh, this is an amazingly hot and flavorful sauce for true chili head, all natural, plenty of heat, tons of flavor. <coughs> From our original lineup and a consistent bestseller, enjoy it. Yep, I like it. Said it's not quite hot enough for my likings. I usually like to punish myself anymore when I when I have a meal. <laughs> no lie, if you. Uh, or on some of the groups I'm on on Facebook, you probably see that. My suppers aren't normal. <laughs> we all have issues, don't we? All right, so there it is, folks. Give it a shot. Uh, like I said, if you're uh, if you're not quite into the fiery fool and fear of this range, this one may be uh, more suited. Get you started. Uh, I want to get zombie snot. That's one of the few that I haven't got yet, actually. Uh, I got some in the fridge that are open I need to do. Some of the sweeter ones with fruit. Uh, still got Evil Bastard over here to try. Almost got me a sniffle, folks. All right. All right, this is Catfish Redneck. I do this so you don't have to. Or I do this so you can try it, too. That's my opinion, folks. Taking it to the bank. Put a link down here in the description. Uh, stay tuned. We've got some real hot ones coming up. All right, folks. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try my. I made some uh, sauce last night. Uh, I put about two ounces of my Everclear uh, pepper extract in it. My tincture. That's a bad sauce, boys. It's hot. So I uh, might do a little sample giveaway of that or something here later on. 
Uh, got some labels for it. It's a torture. All right, folks. Now you know what I'm up to. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're up to. And as always, Gabby Redneck, signing out.